2-0 to Syracuse. Swing on and driven into left field for a base hit. Lucini rounding third. There will be no play at the plate and Syracuse does it again for the second straight week. The Riverhawks walk it off 5-4 today at Lalasher Park. 55 seconds to glory or the end of regulation. We shall see. Grand Valley has the possession. Conroy's got a step. Conroy finishes. Grand Valley takes the one goal lead. What we thought to be an insurmountable lead for Regis. Grand Valley answers. Potosa hits that one deep to right. Back, back. Bulldogs have the lead. Carmine Potosa with a two run homer. And the Bulldogs lead it five to four. Man, did he get all of that one to give his team the lead. Potosa's fourth of the year in a massive swing. Madrid and Sejas took a heavy touch, but does nicely to Vade Fernandez. Space in the middle for Hurst, and now wide for Calistri. Overlapping run coming from Haugli. The Calistri couldn't get it by Armin, and now it's trouble for the rising. LaCava, ambition in his eyes. Defers, Armin, Armin, Armin! Tucks it away, it's 3-1. Gets the better of Lunt, who was on his heels the whole way. It was a four on three rush, and that math adds up for another goal for Tampa Bay. And the 0-2 change up oh. right back to the pitcher. What a snack, and they turn two. They do. Right back to the pitcher. Milne, like it was nothing, nonchalantly fields it, throws home for the force out, then down to first for just your everyday one, two, three double play. Lobbed up to Nuno as he gives it back, but intercepted by Fernandez. Big opportunity, big strike. Nice save from Barrera. Rebound and score! How do you like that, Cody Osharkeen? The first goal at home for Flower City. It's 1-0. In the box behind 0-2 with one out here in the third. Man in scoring position is Colin Terry. Both middle infielders hold him on. The pitch comes home. It's hit high. The wind's going to blow. Could it get out? Either way, it's over the head of the left fielder. It's out of here. Sayonara. See you later. Jacob Johnson, his second homer of the year, and it drives in Colin Terry, a two-run bomb here on senior night for Jacob Johnson. Touches them all, brings in Colin Terry, and the Crusaders lead it four to nothing. First pitch lined into the right center and drops for a hit. Powell scores. Davis scores. Illinois regains the lead. With two outs, Avery Steiner. A single to right center field puts two runs across. Zach Corbin will do up here, infield in for the Hatters, and that one's lined deep into right field, and that ball is gone. Scattered, smothered, and covered. Waffle House bound. Zach Corbin gives the Owls a 12-1 lead. 0-1 home. A fly ball in the air, a deep right center field, giving chase is Kuro. It's gone, and a walk-off home run.